Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand, uh, specifically using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. There has been a lot of kind of confusion and worry going about recently um, in regards to Canva specifically and print on demand. And so I wanna go ahead and try to answer some of these questions. We are going to go straight to the source. So whenever you're not sure about something, going straight to the source is the way to go. So we are gonna go straight onto Canva's page and I'm gonna go ahead and go through their, you know, terms and license agreement and try to make it as, you know, clear as possible. But if you have any questions, of course, put them in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to them. But if you're interested in, in the nitty gritty of, of you know, what you can and cannot do using Canva and print on demand, please stick around here. So here I am on Canva's you know, home page. So if you're logged onto Canva, it probably looks something like this. You've got your home page up here. I am on my pro account, by the way. I would recommend having a pro account if you don't. I took a look and almost, you know, everything I use is, is using pro features. So it is definitely worth having. And I think I only spend about $13 a month, which is, you know, a really good deal. So that's my caveat on that. If you don't have Canva Pro, it's definitely worth looking into. But anyway, so here's my Canva page. Canva does a lot of things. Obviously you can use it for videos. You can use it for presentations, cards, just about anything that you can possibly imagine. So the question became, well, is it okay to use for print on demand? And there has been a lot of rumors um, spreading recently. So right now, as of today, and today is April 11th as I'm shooting this. So April 11th, as I'm shooting this, if you were to go on your Canva page right now, come up to the tabs on the top where it says learn, and you're gonna go to the right where it says Help Center. Oops, if I can get it. Helps if I can get it, there we go. <laughs> and we'll go to Help Center right here. And so here we are on Canvas Help Center and this is current, right? So there's a lot of different drop downs that you can look at, but if you come straight down to Top Articles, at the very top, right in the middle of top articles, it says content licenses and using Canva for commercial purposes. If you were to go ahead and click on that, it is going to pull up this right here. And again, this is right on their page as of now. It will go over content licensing, using Canva for commercial purposes, Canva free and Canva pro. I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit to right here where it says, what is allowed? So what's allowed? And right here at the very top, you see sell your design on merchandise, t-shirts, stickers, books, etc., or as digital products, eBooks, magazines, newsletters. And that is what is allowed. If we come down here, you can sell um, <clears throat> templates or designs using free and pro elements. Um, shared as Canva template links. You can design and sell templates with free elements shared as PDFs, JPEGs, PNGs, etc. You can create designs for clients. The only thing it says here, there's a big X, you cannot resell Canva templates or stock elements as is. And that is the big part right there, the as is, which you'll also see later referred to as standalone. And I'll go over that a little bit with you but it's pretty clear right here, right now, as of April 11th on their page, it says that what is allowed is to be able to sell your designs on t-shirts, stickers, books, etc. So now as I come down using content in your designs, right? By using the content in a design or a composition, you're creating something unique. Once you do, there are very few restrictions on what you can and cannot do with your creation. So this is a direct quote. Right down here, however, standalone content, meaning if you use any of their content by itself without any other design elements, that has restrictions. So you cannot just take one of their images, stick it on a shirt and sell it as is. That is not allowed and never has been, okay? But assuming that you're creating your own designs, you know, by using their um, content and 
you know, making alterations, combining effects, doing whatever, that is so far okay. So let's come down here. Can I legally sell the designs I create on Canva? Right here, yes. As long as you stick to the permitted uses when using our content, see section five of content license agreement. I'll get back to that. Coming down here, for example, you can legally sell your design on printed merchandise like t-shirts, posters, stickers, tote bags, and the like. Okay, very clear. You can also sell and design certain digital products like eBooks and magazines, create designs for your clients. It is never okay to sell Canva content on a standalone basis, okay? So again, everything has to be altered and combined in a way that makes it an original design by you, okay? Your design should always be your own creations. Okay, so that seems pretty clear right here. And again, right off of Canva, it says you can do all of these things, okay? Um, so it'll keep going on. Um, you can't use um, trademarks and logos. You can't do that. Um, and audio, don't use your pro audio. So that's not really stuff that applies to us. So let's go ahead and check out section five of our content license agreement. So if we were to click on that, and again, this is right now, the basics, okay? And it's gonna talk a little bit about free stuff and pro stuff, but I'm gonna go down to section five. That is what it was talking about. So permitted uses of all Canva content with the exception of the music, okay? You can create invitations, advertising, promotional products, including printed materials, product packaging, presentations, videos, greeting cards, postcards for promotion and or resale without any reproduction quality, uh, quantity limit, okay? And there'll be some other stuff. I'm gonna come down here. Prints, so any kind of prints, posters, hard copies or other reproductions for personal or promotional purposes, including resale, we care about sale, license or other distribution, or any other approved uses by Canva. So to me, it says you can create your own stuff and sell it, okay? Um, these are specific to different, you know, template collections, so we'll skip that. This is for free content only, free music. Let's go ahead and go down to what you can't do. So what you definitely cannot do on Canva with free or pro stuff. So you cannot use or display the content on a standalone basis, okay? So that is the important word right there, standalone basis. You cannot use or display the content on a standalone basis on a website or other venues. Um, designed to induce or involving the sale or license of uh, or distribution of on-demand products, including postcards, mugs, t-shirts, posters, and other items. So what they're saying is, again, you can't just take any of their elements, stick it on a shirt and sell it. It has to be your own. You have to make alterations to it. You have to be able to combine elements together and make your own design. Um, so you cannot use it on standalone or standalone um, basis. So, I mean, that's the stuff that specifically applies to print on demand. So that's the stuff that we're specifically looking at. In no place in their prohibited uses list, as of now, does it say that you cannot use their stuff for print on demand? Nowhere currently does it say that you cannot do that. Matter of fact, it makes it pretty clear that you can, just not on a standalone basis. Now, this is a long content policy. You can look over everything. I mean, it'll it'll keep going and it's, you know, relatively in depth. But again, at no point does it say on here at this time that you cannot use this in selling um, any kind of print on demand products. And again, as I was going back to the last page that I was on right here, when it says what is allowed, it's pretty clear that you can sell your designs on t-shirts, stickers, books, and stuff, as, as well as digital products. So it's right there, pretty clear as can be, what's allowed, sell your designs, as long as they're your designs. Um, sell templates, sell designs for clients, just do not sell as is. So it's pretty clear right there. Um, by, and again, by using content in a design or composition, you're creating something unique, right? So you can, again, 
legally sell the designs you create on Canva? Yes, as long as you stick to the permitted uses. So um, it says, for example, you can usually, you can legally sell your design on merchandise, printed merchandise like t-shirts, posters, stickers, tote bags, and the like. Okay, so it's pretty clear right there that it is telling you that you can. Um, so I know there's been just tons of confusion and you know worry about whether or not they're going to change these policies in any way. Um, and there's been rumors swirling around all over. But again, as of right now, April 11th, I am on the Canva website and I'm getting this straight off of the website. And it is saying on the website that you can absolutely sell the designs that you create on printed merchandise like t-shirts, posters, posters, stickers, tote bags, etc. And no place within their contents um, agreement or licensing does it tell you that you cannot sell on print on demand products as long as it is not on a standalone basis. So that is what I'm seeing right now. Now, again, if they were to go ahead and change that, I will let you guys know, but always go straight to the source. So, you know, instead of looking at random posts or videos from people, make sure that you're going straight to the source, go straight to the Canva page, go straight to their license agreement and read it through yourself, okay? Um, but, you know, as I'm reading this and as I'm understanding it, as of this moment, it is perfectly okay to create your own designs and sell them. Um, what this entails, by the way, and I'll just give you an example here. I'm going to come up to create a design like I normally would. And I'm going to go ahead and just pick my normal custom size of 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And we're just going to give a little bit of an example. So I'm going to come to elements and we can use any elements we want. I'm gonna to go to my recently used. So these are things that I was recently looking at. And for example, everything that has this little crown here is a pro item. And as I'm looking down at everything that I have looked at recently, the vast majority of pretty much everything that I have looked at has been pro. So when I say it's worth doing the pro, you know, most of what I look at is pro stuff. So it's definitely, you know, worth having. But for example, let's say, let me find some sort of element that might look good. So looking at some Cinco de Mayo stuff, you cannot simply take this design right here as is, stick it on a print on demand product and sell it because that is obviously not your work. I mean, you did not, you know, design this image. So that is not allowed. However, if I combine this with other things, let's say I take these little maracas, I'm gonna shrink them down and let's say I put them in the hand of the cactus. This is a bad example, but let's just say I did that and maybe even I had this guitar and I angled it and I put it kind of, you know, down here, maybe I make it a little bit bigger, something like that. Now, as a whole, this is a new design as a whole this is no longer something that existed in this combination prior so i would say that this is now okay to sell now it can get pretty nit nitty pick uh, <laughs> it can get really specific here sometimes so they will they will tell you that if anything can be cut out you know by itself that it is not um that it's considered standalone. So for example, if I just had these maracas floating here, they might say, hey, these maracas are floating here. I could, you know, technically crop them out of this design and, you know, they haven't been changed. Ergo, they might say that that is a violation of their content policy. But by simply overlapping them, you can now no longer cut them out without getting another graphic underneath. Same thing here. So just by overlapping graphics or putting words on top of the graphics, any kind of, of alteration of that, you know, magnitude, that is considered changing the graphic. And so that would be okay to sell. And so just keep that in mind when you're making your designs and, you know, be sure that you make some alterations and alterations, you know, legally don't have to be anything super big to make it its own, you know, technically its own design by overlapping elements. For example, if you were to put a little star in the eye 
you know, it is technically now, it's a, it's a new design. It's got a little twinkle in its eye, for example. So you can do little things and you can do a lot of little things, you know, maybe take some more of these little splatters and put some more of them and maybe have them overlapping different areas. That would be a way to kind of make it your own. Or you could put just fireworks in the background and have this overlapping fireworks. So lots of different ways that you can alter these images or combined images, combined elements to make them a new, original, unique design. And so that's usually what I'll show you when we're going over some of our design videos. So if you look, you know, through a lot of the past design videos, I'm showing you how you can take these elements and combine them and alter them. And I specifically love to use clipping masks on them. That definitely kind of just makes it its own unique design. Um, so as long as you're doing that, it is your creation and you should be able to legally sell it. Now there may be some comments in the in the section under this video and so again I will you know address each and every one of them as soon as I can. If anything changes I will let you know but for now that is how I see their content policy. Again there are lots of other design platforms too so you know Creative Fabrica is one that I know a lot of people use. I'll use Photopea a lot in conjunction with Canva. Um, and then of course text um, based designs are totally free to use and you can download any font you want for free off of Creative Fabrica, upload it onto Canva and then use Canva to create a font based design and use different um, you know, font editing uh, techniques as well. And so again, as long as you're not just taking an as is already made design and selling it as your own, you're probably okay. okay. Um, so when in doubt you know be safe make sure that you've changed some things uh, make sure that you can look at it and say you know is this a unique and original design would anybody else have this same design as is and i know i'm rambling here but i just want to really try to get my point across that you know as long as you're making your own unique stuff you are good you know to sell it on print on demand i have been using canva for my print on demand for the last i want to say two and a half years it's been my primary um the, the primary software that i've used for print on demand and, and i do sell my print on demand work on on redbubble on etsy on amazon through seller central on amazon through merch by amazon on kdp and again, these are all things that I have made using Canva over the course of the last two and a half years without any kind of issues. So again, as long as there is no sudden change to the content policy, and I'll let you know if there is, I say, you know, keep on designing, okay? So hopefully that cleared things up and I hope to see you again in future videos. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.